Hi everybody, so my name's Paul. I'm the marketing manager for Serco Leisure Centres in the Midlands, that's Shropshire, uh, Mansfield. Hi guys, hi everybody, hope you're staying safe. I've uh, been asked to do a short video about um, my life, my family's life on lockdown, some of the stresses and strains that that presents, uh, and how do we get over these and what do we do to keep ourselves sane? Um, although, I just want to say quickly at the start, look guys who are still working, you're doing a cracking job. I keep hearing and seeing some brilliant things um, so well done to everyone who's working so hard. Uh, life on lockdown is hard sometimes. I'll show you some examples, um, but mostly it's it's okay. It's all good. Cheers. This is a common occurrence in stress. You get to do some work, Harry. Yeah. Why not? So this is one of the daily stresses: is trying to get the kids to sit down at the table and do some work and get them motivated. Isn't it, Alfie? But generally they get on with it. They spend the morning doing some work. And also Mrs. Souter, she owns and runs her own business. And that's been closed or temporarily closed for what, eight weeks now? Mm -hmm. So Mrs. Souter's very stressed about staff, um, sorting out the finances, the accounts, loans, grants, etc. She's busy doing that. It's not 70, Harry, is it? You're not feeling it today, mate. You're not feeling it today, Harry. Uh, feeding time at the zoo. Oh. Are you still not happy? Oh. It's okay, we do it. Whoa! Trying to get them off this is an absolute nightmare. So here's just a few things we've been doing to keep ourselves busy and stress-free during lockdown. Great way to beat the stress is to get out and about. Have a walk around the park. All right. Oh, we found Harry. Oh yeah. So whilst we've been on lockdown, we've been doing lots of cooking. Uh, cooking's a great stress buster for us. I'm just doing the potatoes. So the potatoes are almost done, but a little tip, you could add a bit of bovril. Just drizzle it over the top, gives it a nice meaty flavor. And also some stock powder, that will really firm up the sides, make them even more crispy. Rapeseed oil. Put in the garlic, put in the onions. All coming together very nicely. There we have it. Spuds are ready, veggies ready, the kids are about ready, I think. Family time. Cheers, guys. Although we're not quite sure what's happened to the Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of pottering around in the garden. Gonna try some new things, so that's a passion fruit. I'll put some little pips and seeds in here and pop those on. We've got some tomato plants and we've also got some chilli plants. We've had quite a few barbecues. Barbecues go down well, don't you, lads? Yeah. Cheers. Do you know what this is? Yes, Mum. A thing. What is it? A CD. No. Yeah. A record thing. A record? You know what it is? What is it? Yeah, what's the record? It must be over 20 years ago since I last DJed in a nightclub in Leicester or Luxor. Of course, we clapped, or in the case of Harry, blew a trumpet. So that's what we've been doing, trying to keep out of trouble, trying to remain sane uh, and get through this lockdown time. Look, take care everyone, stay safe. 